Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's November budget video. We are nearing the end of the year. I cannot believe that this will be, yeah, this is my penultimate budget video of the year. Well, budget setup of the year. I've still got my recaps to go. But this month has just gone so crazy. This month, this year has just gone crazy quick. I know that a lot of people feel like it's dragged with the whole virus situation, but it's gone quick for me and I've been really excited to budget each month. So without further ado, I don't want to make this intro long. Let's get into it. So for today, I will actually be using my own um, minimal shape stickers from my Etsy store. I'm praying <laughs> that these will be up on my shop by the time that I get this video. I will be, I'm filming this on Friday and I'm hoping to get the video up on Sunday. So fingers crossed it all goes well. These will be up for you to purchase. And if not, I will just link them down below when they are ready to purchase. Um, also, as usual, I'm going to be using my monthly script stickers from my shop, along with my um, mini script stickers as well. So, yes, let's get into it. So, friends, how are you all? Um, like I said in the intro, cannot believe that we are nearing November. Um, when I'm filming this, it will be a few days to November. It's, what, the 30th? So we've got two days left of October. That is crazy. I just cannot believe it. Time flies. Um, I know it's been a really interesting year um, and a year of like a lot of pain and sadness and just not fun. But um, I think in some ways, you know, I'm definitely one of those people that always tries to look at the positive and things. And I will say that the, the one positive thing about this year is that, you know, I do think that the coronavirus and um everything that's just been going on in general has allowed people to sort of slow down and in some cases people have been able to actually spend a bit more time with their families which when you lead a very busy life it's not always easy to just stop and be like okay I'm gonna make time for my family you know so I definitely have spent a lot more time with my family whether or not that has been <laughs> a good thing I don't know but um yes I have been spending a lot more time with with them um, and I also have been saving a lot more money. It's made me realise how much money I waste on, like, pointless stuff like McDonald's and, like... Because, obviously, that was closed for, like, a few months. But, yeah, it, it has shown me how much money I've I've wasted in the past. Um, and I definitely won't be wasting money as, as much. Uh, it's also made me value my job, I will say. Because this pandemic has definitely taught us all that workplaces will just get rid of you in an instant um and i've seen a lot of really disappointing situations where companies really haven't fulfilled their duty of care to employees so yeah in this climate if you have a job you are lucky <laughs> and um yeah i'm just extremely grateful to have had a job throughout the pandemic um i know that it's been a tough it's been a tough year for pretty much everyone in 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 your own way you know in one way or another you're affected um so yeah i'm looking forward to closing out this year and hopefully welcoming a year a new year that's slightly more positive so um, i'm just going to pop down my salary as i always say if this is your first budget video that you're watching of mine please do check down below because you will see um a brief kind of rundown of who I am, what my budgeting journey looks like uh, so far and just my financial history um, and also why my budget looks the way it, it does because it's not, <laughs> I would say that my budget isn't like a normal budget. I don't think it looks like a lot of other people's budgets. So yes, right, so I'm just putting in my lines. So for salary uh, this month, let me get my little cheat sheet out. So we, estimated 2137 pounds and 48 pence and actually we did bring in 2166 pounds and 68 pence which is an overage of 29 pounds and 40 pence and i did actually finally phone um hmrc who deals with all the taxes in the uk and i had realized that my company had only started putting down stuff to do with my health benefits and my taxable benefits um 
so that's why there was like a reduction in my uh, pay also the uk government actually allows uh, a sort of a tax allowance of six pounds a week if you are working from home uh, just to cover things like your electricity and stuff like that you can get a little bit more but you have to prove that like you're working from home and you also have to prove that your electricity and things like that were more expensive last year compared to this year a lot of work i haven't got time for it so i just went with the basic six pound a week um, and that worked great for me so the guy did say that he's amended my my tax so that I was essentially paid because I did phone them before and they didn't they the lady did tell me that she put the six pound a week on my uh tax my tax bracket tax band whatever but it turns out she didn't so he just backdated it for me from the start of the year and also put it toward to next April which is when the tax year ends so yes I don't really know what happened there but I've got the money back I don't know if what my actual salary each month is going to be now but this is what it is at the minute so it probably will change next month as well Etsy I'm going to of course estimate zero um and then we've got miscellaneous which I always estimate is 200 just because like I say I'm owed some money so that just goes there um okay then i'm gonna put my little total sticker so we can top that all up um total quite like the squares in the past i've just done um the circle so it's quite nice to have the squares right i probably should have drawn the line down a little bit more that's annoying right let's just put those in and again, my lines are always wonky because that's just how I roll. Um, so the total is £2,337.48. pence. Okay, cool. Then we have the bills. So my bills have pretty much stayed the same for the last couple of months um, other than the introduction of the waxing and taking away my nail appointments um i have been just doing my own nails they're not as good as how my nail lady does them but it's saving me 60 pounds a month and i really enjoy doing my nails so i don't think i'll be changing that anytime soon i might however go and get a pedicure because from her because i just seem to not be great at pedicures i don't know why but hey ho Right, so for our bills, we have the first one, which is Spotify. And I am on a family plan, which is great. So it means that um, I only pay £3.75 a month. Just going to use my red um, Muji pen. And these, are, these pens and everything I use is always linked down below, by the way, if you are wondering. Um, Spotify is due on the 10th. And then we have my phone bill. And that is for £15. And that is due on the 26th. It's so annoying because I my phone bill comes out the day after I get paid. So it's for the previous month, I mean. So that's one bill that I literally can't tick off until I get paid for the next month. iTunes. And this is just for my extra storage. I have the super big one, not the like, there's one for 99p and then there's one for £2.49. I don't remember exactly how much you get and it might be like 200 gig and that is also due on the 10th then we have family and this is just a contribution i give to my family as i live with them my mom and dad um oops what am i doing and that's 100 pounds i don't write a date there because i just give it to them on payday um donations and this is just by the way this is just like a basic donation amount like i want to always give a minimum of 20 pounds i do usually give more but i don't really i'm not really in the business of um sharing exactly how much i, I do think things like donations should be to an extent personal um and that's just me then we've got waxing which actually do we have waxing this month yeah we do thinking for a sec do we have it no yeah we do um because i did roll it over for one month because i didn't use it so yeah that is what we're looking like so far um for bills on to sinking sinking funds oh my god i can't talk today and i love by the way i love this camel color it's just such a bit of me i have like a camel coat that i um 
have just had for like the longest time i think i bought it like three or four years ago from primark which is like a relatively like cheap shop in the uk like it's nothing too crazy expensive i think i maybe paid like less than 20 pounds for it and it has lasted me for literally i feel like it's been like five years it, i might be wrong but it might have been five years and i just love things like that like i love like a piece that you can just wear year in and year out especially when you like it i think some of the insides have started to rip but hey ho i like it and i'll continue to keep it until it literally is unusable um i'm gonna write the categories in before i do the lines this time um so we do have personal spending we have got fpc which is just the functional planner co my shop clothing we've got gifts planning and yes planning does deserve its own budget um whatever fund um beauty and go wild or i should really change that to vacations i'll leave it as go wild for now but from this point going on i will be changing it to the word donations instead um just donations vacations <laughs> oh my god wake up um because yeah it's that's a general fund for all of those kind of things uh so we do have our estimate but i think i started off saving for go wild and then when i reached my um the amount i needed for go wild i then just started um saving for other vacations and to be fair the amount I did originally have was actually too much for how much I need now because of the virus. They cancelled it and postponed it to next year. And a bunch of the things that I needed to book, like flights and um, stuff like that, and the hotel have now reduced in price, which is fabulous. So I've now got like £900 to put towards future holidays when the outside opens up again, which I am very excited for because I feel like I've now got the travel bug. And when I say the travel bug, I mean solo travel bug. I have, like, I went on my first trip, solo trip last year. And I now feel like every single year of my life, I will be going on a solo trip because it's so fun. And I do love my own company. So yeah, and I always make really awesome friends. Well, I did make some awesome friends when I went. So I'm hoping I can have similar experiences. Okay, so for the estimate uh, for personal spending, we have got... 93 pounds and 38 pence and just to reiterate this column estimate is the estimate of how much money i'll be putting into each of these funds i put my personal spending as um a sinking fund because i do roll over anything that's in there i start the month on 100 pounds so um this number is what i need to get to 100 pounds essentially for this category uh, and obviously i don't know the actual and i don't know the balance um or well, i'll fill that in at the end of the month functional planner co um i'm not estimating to put anything in and by the way again i just like to explain this so we're all in, in the loop all of these figures come from essentially this figure here so it's well it's this figure here the actual of my salary because i base everything on my salary and then the miscellaneous figure because i get that the same day that i get paid so I work from that and then any of my additional income then gets distributed um, into these different funds as well as my savings, which we'll add at the end. So yeah, that's just kind of how I do it. It works for me. Clothing, we've got enough in there. I think we've got over £150, so I don't feel like I need any more. Gifts, this is the month that I actually decided to just chock a block it, just put loads of money in there. So with this fund, you'll notice it's a lot higher than previous months and that's because I was tempted to split it between november and december's budget but i figured that i would have it in time for black friday if i just put it all in now and i don't have to think about it for this, for december's budget um so i've just done that and i think i get paid a couple days before black friday anyway but still i just wanted to have the money readily available in case i found some things that i liked pre black friday so now my gift budget is completely stopped and i do have a gift budget video and i will be coming out with a sort of gift idea gift tracker video for you guys as well planning we are putting in 95 and i did have that a bit less and then i got the extra money from my salary so i just thought let me put it into planning because there's a few new shops 
um, that I want to support uh, and I think that there's a few new shops that I want to support so I thought I'd pop a little bit extra into the planning fund right so my whatever fund I'm not currently stocking anything I do think like I said in the past when I get to my goal for my savings for the year well it's my stretch goal for the year I will start stocking this fund again because this is just kind of like any luxury purchases anything that's like outside of my personal spending category beauty again we're going to put zero just because I feel like I'm stocked um I might actually stock that in my January budget so I'll get paid in December and I'll is that's essentially my January budget but I think I'll stock the beauty category there just so I've got some money for the new year to spend on some beauty bits go wild slash vacations can I even fit the word vacations Oh, okay, I'm get the word vacation. That's fine. That'll work. Uh, zero because we are not putting anything in there. But I will be spending from that. And I think I actually already have um, because I'm actually filming this a couple of days into using this budget because um, I got paid early this this month. I got paid on the 23rd because the 25th when I normally get paid um, landed on like a Saturday. So I got paid or a Sunday. So I got paid on the Friday. So yeah, I will update you on what got spent there. Then I'm just going to put in all of the pound signs to make my life easier when we come to um catching up and then the last category we've got is of course in my opinion the most important part the savings so i am really upping this now like i really just want to get to my savings goal um oh let me actually use square as well um I'm really excited to share with you guys how I did for the year because I did like a mid-year financial goal video and I did talk about how much I wanted to save so I'm so excited to update you guys on that. I also just realised annoyingly I um, skipped two spaces here which means I've only got one down here so what I might do is okay cool what I'll do is instead of putting it in the line below I'll do it on the same line if that makes any sense I'll show you exactly what I mean it's better work <laughs> I'm gonna get out my white out so I estimated 1000 where are you 1710 pounds and 26 pence and again all that is okay I'm not gonna have space but we'll just make it work all that is is all of this plus this take away that and that so that's where we got to and i do just as a ballpoint figure ballpark figure yeah this is going to be a tight squeeze i should have moved it up a little bit i do try and um get to two thousand each month and that really does come from etsy and miscellaneous income Right, friends, that is my completed November budget setup video. Um, I am so excited, like I said, to get November out of the way. I'm excited to actually spend for once, and that is in my gifts category. I love buying gifts to my family and friends, so I'm so excited to share with you what I end up getting um, and just, yeah, just saving as well. I want to really try and push how much additional income i can make this month so i can really reach my stretch goal of my savings so yeah let me know down below how your november is looking are you going to put money towards christmas presents this month and for the next or this paycheck and next paycheck or are you doing it all this paycheck or i want to say paycheck i mean this time around or are you or have you already done it are you super organized and already saved up for Christmas throughout the year? Let me know down below. I'd be really interested to know. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any more videos and you do click the like button as well. Have a lovely, lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.